Hey yo, it's Wednesday, A1 Live. Catch us on weareA1.com. Hey, I'm a gentleman too. Hey, Axis Ward in the building at Boy J Norm. I'm your boy. WeareA1.com. Y'all tune in right now, 8 o'clock every Wednesday night. It's going down on A1 Live. Your girl Jay Nicole, your boy Atumra. We got the entire action squad in the building. So y'all go ahead and tune in, comment, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your granny, tell your uncle, everybody. And bring me some tacos. And get an action. If you want to be an artist, you see. A1 Live coming to you. Tune in, tune in. Get in the action. Oh, say. Right now. Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, everything. Yeah. Tune in to everything. Get in the action. Action one. Action one, inspiring action. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo! It's your brother hey. iTunes Ra, A One Live in the place to be, man. Hey man, we appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all for checking us out. Shout out to everybody on We Are A One dot com slash TV. You know what I'm saying? We got the TV stepping our broadcasting game up, man. We moved on from just being a simple radio station, you know what I'm saying, to uh, a media, you know what I'm saying, going to a conglomerate, man. You know what I'm saying? Most yeah, definitely, most definitely. And uh, 
uh, and 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 we and we got we got so much love, man, uh, from the people, man. Uh, and you know, this year, uh, make sure that y'all check out the website on weareA1.com because man, we got more events coming. Um, you know, we got uh, Cyphers, uh, independent artists, man. Uh, we just hooking and we linking up. A lot of interesting stuff. You know what I'm saying? And we we may have some comedy shows coming we, soon, we, man. We, you know, we, we, yeah, it's always a good idea yeah. to have comedy Why shows. Yeah. We work for nothing. Yeah, man. We just need a microphone and a space. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, so yeah, man. We we're blessed, man. Make sure you're going to YouTube and you're subscribing. You're becoming a member. You're following along. You are getting down. And man, it's your brother Atum Ra. Got Action Jackson, RJ, J Nicole holding me down, man. You know what I'm saying? The whole Action Squad is in the building, man. Man, it's, it's been a week. It's been a week. Been a week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Seven days. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Yeah. I hope everybody out there is doing like all right. It's a long week for some of yeah. us. This is my What's first that, podcast. <laughs> What's I've never done a What's podcast that? before. That, man, uh, today, man, I had two uh, special gentlemen with me. Uh, the, the the brother right here, man. You know, what I'm saying he's no stranger. We had him on before, man. The homie Carson Russell. What's good, G? Hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm very excited about today. Things are. We have a lot of things in the works here, and yeah. I'm 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 very genuinely excited to expose this stuff with yeah. y'all and uh, take this journey together. But anyhow. Uh, Yes, thank you. For sure, for sure, man. And uh, first time on the show, man. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all out there already know this brother right here, man. The brother Sam Orin Palmer. What's good, G? Oh, man, I'm just chilling. Chilling over here, uh, enjoying my first podcast. Uh, I've done yeah. everything else but a podcast. Oh, yeah. And now... Yeah, I'm going to break you in right. Break yeah, in man. Right. Yeah, it man. Is glad to be doing my first podcast <laughs> with some real people, man. Hey, man. For sure, for sure. Man. Doing real things. Like to definitely give y'all just a official, uh, excuse me, official opener for Sam Warren Palmer. He is a local uh, comedian slash. Uh, I've been called worse. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, called much worse. There's a there's a lot of names you can say, but uh, I met him through comedy. He's a great guy. Uh, he we're we're all still trying to figure out this comedy thing. I just got into it. Full disclosure, but that means that I'm meeting a lot of interesting people along the way, and this is definitely one who I enjoy thoroughly throughout the opening of this. So, uh, what's that? What's that? So. Well, yeah, we, we definitely going to uh, get into the whole story and the journey. Man, I got to ask, man, either one of y'all watch Game of Thrones? I do. Man, I don't. I, I really man. do. So, 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 you know me, I'm a... Uh, I'm a I'm a binge watcher, right? So I don't I don't watch nothing while it's on. You know, I always yeah, wait till yeah. it's done. Yes. I can watch yeah, it in two yeah. days and be it's done. Just, get the whole show, and not have to yeah, sit around like, and that's wait that's for really, it. You know, I, like I didn't know there were books too. I was yeah, like, I know. You, know, you could like read the books and then find out what's going to happen. They're like, no, it's a different story. It's different. You can't judge it by the book. In that, yeah. for sure. But I am a fan of if, if you can refrain from that, like that's the problem is we're all binge watchers until we start binge watching. Right. And the shows we're binge watching are the ones that we end up being weekly subscribers right. to, if you will. I mean, right. it, it, my it, entry it, for the Game of Thrones cookbook is a brine made out of the tears of your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> you get them to sit around and cry into a bucket and like hold them in a dungeon somewhere, and then you uh, boil the tears and you throw your turkey in it. It keeps it moist and juicy with their sorrow. <laughs> I think it'll get it. I think that's if they ever make uh, a Game of Thrones I mean, cookbook, that, 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 that should be like in there. Cool Game of Thrones to remember for yeah. sure. <laughs> they got a they got one of those Morrowind cookbooks for that. Uh, Skyrim, so like, why not a Game of Thrones cookbook? I gotta say, man, what the hell, Jon Snow, man? What in the Jon Snow? Thank you. Is, ends up, it, it, you saw it, did. Yeah, like, anyway, man. If this is a spoiler alert for anybody. Yeah, man. Sorry, about uh, that. Should man. we do that now? Hey, man. Yeah, that man. Why, why, why he had to chill, man? <laughs> why he, I mean, like, no. I mean, I, mean, I, I get you, you think know. that was salvageable? I mean, you know, she did have uh, she was she quite an outfit, but but I don't know, man. You know, you know, he had a he had a hot, you know, I mean, she was she was hot, man. You know, you know, you know that she, is very true. She wasn't auntie though. Yeah, but, she, uh, 
Is it, what, so that's <laughs> the final call on that. No, they said that in the yeah, in the it, thing. He shouldn't have told the sister though, man. Geez, you know what I'm saying? That's so what that was the final story. I'm sorry. I didn't get it. Then it got sent back out to the wall, man. See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. God, it was a terrible decision. No idea what like, they're I'm talking full about. Circle, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I'm, but, I'm not um, I'm not down with innocence, but I mean still. Yeah. That yeah, they, they were so situation. Now he out here with the wall, ain't no fire. No, him. nothing. He's <laughs> he's back to he's back to dudes, hairiness, uh, bad weather, and capes. Uh, it sounds like the worst magic camp I've ever even thought of. You know <laughs> I caught people saying? larping in the park. <laughs> they were beating the, they were beating each other up with these like plastic swords and stuff. They had like <laughs> paper shields. And you it thought was of really John early Snow, in the morning. And you're and like, I was like, yeah. you know, still wearing off the night before. And I was like, are these people really LARPing in the park over here? <laughs> <laughs> Too much Game of Thrones. Hey, man, to, yeah. hey, man, so shut it, it off you, and go outside. Well, man, we finna get into our first break, man. Then we're gonna be right back with the homie Carson and the homie Sam, man. Brother iTunes Rob, we are A1.com. Holla at me. Oh, Jake, you what's up? Put your money where your community is. Get in the action at weareA1.com. Thank you. Thank you all for just inviting me out and giving me the opportunity to speak about Twist. I really appreciate you and I love that you all are um, doing positive exposure of people in the community um, versus what whatever else you could be doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. You're shedding a positive light in the world. Sure. So. You tuned into the all new Action One Network. Turn up your volume. It's your boy, JAYB. Josh. I got one tap for real, man, and I can do this for you all. Naturally. I be the first to admit it and draw a line I never really hit y'all the minute y'all cross my mind I figured if I did we'd be talking like all the time How ignorant of me to believe I thought y'all were fine I'm fed up we only get together when someone dies I'm sick of death but though the worst is what's suspected, I still wish the best I take that penalty like I got mad and tripped the rep I care less about who's correct Let's just fix the disconnect It's been way too long, you got a phone I could've sent the text or hard off and called you like Yo, you ain't dinner yet? I know the plan's limited That's just where my spirit is Our voices are weapons, but they are also an instrument You listen? I reminisce on the times of reunions Whatever family rumors, we handle all our confusion Like, hey, hey, are you pregnant? Is that the same, baby? All oh, that's irrelevant I just want to tell y'all that I miss you and I ain't forgot you. And though I reach out that often, it's often I think about you. If the family was a ship, just know I would anchor hours. I didn't say relation. I got communication problems, though they may have. Nobody holds a better heart. We can't do nothing about the past, but we can make a better start. It's just been a while since the void is in your face. I just called to say I love you and I hope that I was straight. How was your day? It ain't much to check up for your people. Just to reach out, make sure that they breathing. You ain't gotta hit them for a reason. Family is something I believe in, and I'm saying that it ain't much to check up on your people. Cause you never know how much they need you. Let them know you love them for they leave you. It ain't much to check up on your people. Remember shirts with our last names on them? Yeah. And how we felt when our cousins came over? Yeah. The questions that we asked as we became older. Like, why was plastic always on that plain sofa? And why my ass would always drink some grape sodas? And why we always open things we hate closing? And though we never talk a lot, I pray for you. I wrote this thinking about my ain't no lie. I just want to tell y'all that I miss you and I ain't forgot you. And though I reach out that often, it's often I think about you. If the family was a ship, just know I would anchor hours. I didn't say relation. I got communication problems, though they may have. Nobody holds a better heart. We can't do nothing about the past, but we can make a better start. It's just been a while since the void is in your face. I just called to say I love you and I hope that I was straight. How was your day? It ain't much to check up for your people. Just to reach out, make sure that they're breathing. You ain't gotta hit them for a reason. Family to something I believe in, and I'm saying that it ain't much to check up for your people. Cause you never know how much they need you. Let them know you love them before they leave you. It ain't much to check up for your people. 
Uh, let's be there for one another. Africa represents. Lazima tuangalie watu wetu. Shukra. Action one, inspiring action. Hey yo, hey yo, hey. Yo. Hey, what's up? What's hey, up? What's up? up? Back in this thing, man. The homie Sam and Carson holding me down, man. Hey, right here, man. trying right to. Here, Still man. here, oh, man. So, Sam, man, it's your uh, your first time up here. Uh, like I said, I know uh, a lot of people uh, know your name, uh, but you know, cause just introduce the wrong yourself. people. <laughs> <laughs> Police know my name. Uh, introduce yourself, man, to our audience, man. Let them know who you are, where you're from, man. How long you been in this game, man? Uh, my name is Samuel Orrin Palmer. I'm from the Heights in Houston. 25 years there. Uh, born 1982. So nice. makes about 36 okay. years 80s, old. Baby. I'm like at home. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, name rank serial number. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I went to Travis Elementary, Pershing Middle School, Jones High School for f- all four years. Uh oh, yeah, I went to Mark Twain for a little bit. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. See, I see, I see. oh bet there you have it. They wouldn't let me in Pershing. Oh man, purging, <laughs> purging was weird at the time. Oh, it was, shit. It was interesting. Kind of fucked up though, right? Yeah. Well, um, anyhow. But yeah, uh, I uh, uh, been in bands and rapping and music. DJ stuff for my whole life, so I've been uh, seeking attention from strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so comedy worked right into it. <laughs> it sounds like a uh, yeah. stranger oh. from somebody who isn't your friend. You start getting all sick. And all, <laughs> like your friends are like, you got a habit or something. Like, no, I haven't done that on stage. I'm shaking. Right. So. You need the applause, is what what you're saying. But to actually, oh, approval, yeah, from random, ran, like random, just anybody. No, no, people at tables who are buying drinks. I got yeah, you. I got yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you, you know, two thousand five, so it's seven. I was playing around at the laugh stop. I was doing it every once in a while, and then I do the improv on Wednesdays. Laugh stop is Mondays. Nice. Three minutes on Monday, three minutes on Wednesdays, and uh, are you doing like I'm new? Busy selling drugs and trying to be somebody in school. That's uh, <laughs> cool. Oh, not, thanks, uh, get yeah. closer to the mic, my man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So I uh, five years of college, stopped trying to be somebody in school, went into the kitchen, and a year ago, somebody was like, "Look." You should try that comedy thing again. I was like, all right, I'm going to quit my job. And if something doesn't happen in one year, really go back to it. And about a few months ago, I booked. I mean, but was it a transition? All stars of comedy. And he was really cool in Richmond, Virginia. I did that show and my numbers are going pretty well. And uh, they'll be dropping uh-huh. the video of the performance soon. Oh, but you can go cool. to all stars of comedy on Twitter. No, uh, on uh Instagram or all stars of comedy on Facebook and uh, check all them out. stars of comedy. Yeah, gotcha. so the all so, stars okay. of comedy. So the first the first time you hopped up on stage, man. Yeah. What what, what was that like, man? I oh, I couldn't the... even go in the first time. I sat outside the laugh stop. I smoked an entire blunt to myself, <laughs> and then I got up and walked away because <laughs> I couldn't do it. So the second week I went what, back. What and was I it? Made it inside. Why? Why couldn't you do it though? I chickened out. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna how do, many, I'm gonna do how it right many... after this. I'm gonna do it right after this. And then I, this was done, and I was like, I can't do it. So I just ran off. Took some anti-anxiety medication the second. Time. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, really yeah, open yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, uh, but the, after that first time you walked away, what still was going on in your head to make make you believe that it was still for you to get to? Mm. I was that like, is a man, good question. You can't uh, walk away from this and like not give it a shot because right. everybody says it right away you know it's for you it's uh you know like it's like getting high you know the blood goes out of your y'all can hear his blood in your ears and uh your equilibrium gets throw it off and your movement starts slowing up it's like what? getting high <laughs> like when that first What's joke lands on? i don't know what it is but what, uh, the feeling what are we of that is 
better than anything uh, I bought <laughs> off of anybody. So cool, I mean, drug wise. So yeah. and it's yeah. free. Uh, I love it. The, it's free and it's safe. It's, man. Okay, it's nobody I, I, kicks well, my door I know. anymore. Uh, he, so it gave you a therapeutic outlet for yeah. yes, it's cathartic. It's like Thank purging. you. Right, but and we were movie. we were talking about that earlier. Um, yes. there is a certain amount of people that are using open mic nights to uh kind of release some sort of um mental illness problems i mean do, do you know what i'm talking about sam yeah, you're I an open micer say, in the open mic hold on Facebook hold on hold on wait sam mother. wait uh, in the uh, uh, i am not an extreme professional or veteran of the open mic community however what i have experienced thus far is that there is a certain group of people who uh, maybe shouldn't be expressing ideas but i'm not trying to shut that down i'm just saying uh Sometimes people use it as a genuine, like, uh, like I gotta let or this a dating go. app, which <laughs> or, or a dating, dating app. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's either you, someone should it's either Tinder or open mic for oh, you. Yeah, you, <laughs> you get Tinder, swiping. right? Yeah, you, you either gotta you gotta figure out what how you're gonna be uh, how you're gonna get your therapy for it the can day. Be if you're not, you know, it's not therapy. It's, it's misguided Man, for so sure. I, I've heard. I use um, the word open mic or seven times. What what would be the main difference for you know somebody like myself that 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 doesn't know? Is there a difference between a stand up comedian and an open mic? There's Absolutely. a professional comedian yeah. who makes money at it. There's an amateur comedian who's good and will become a professional comedian. And then there's crazy people. And those are the three types of. Uh, people that show up <laughs> yeah professionals people who will soon be professionals and are good and crazy people and you know who is who you know. after like <laughs> four or five shows you can figure it out but you know if it's your first time seeing somebody and they say some bugged out throw it off stuff it's you're like i'm gonna remember that not in a good way your first impression of my first impression <laughs> yeah. of you makes you so repulsive that I'd rather slit my wrist than be in the same room with you. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a terrible commute. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, supposed to make people laugh. I mean, there's... Right. there's you know, don't ask somebody to have sex with their date while they're sitting there. Like, hey, buddy, can I uh, sleep with your date? Like, they're <laughs> just going to piss them off or, uh, right. you know, so, blame so, the crowd, so, the venue, so and how, then the next guy. How do both of you all walk that line between funny and offensive? Because uh, I, I mean, I know it's, uh, I, and I'm pretty sure well, it's on the audience as well. But um, how, how do y'all both walk? Them? Dude, if I could just rewind for two seconds, if you really want to, Sam is completely right. There, there he is n not incorrect in those three levels he gave you, but. If you're interested in becoming a comedian and that's something you want to do, there's open micers. There is, uh, and I don't know it completely, but you, you can be a headliner. You can be, uh, opener. I mean, there's several different acts that go to, or do, half the people show up to my show just uh, to buy weed off me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's really and that may not change as you go through everything, but. Hey man, there's definitely levels. Back. There, there's Can levels to all of it. Here. That's for <laughs> sure. There, there's definitely levels. But um, back to your question. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh yeah, no, no, no. You good? You good? You good? No, because that that was that's the question. Because like I said, I've heard y'all use. Yeah, open, no, no, open micer would be the equivalent to some guy walking in off of the street and doing. Uh, they have five minutes. Generally, is the situation at uh, any? Literally, if you type in open in Mike Houston, you can find a list of areas where you can go and see. And in a lot of cases, you just see this brilliant thing go on where somebody and it's not in, you know, it's not like some incredible. really talented people yes, running around. Yes, is what I'm saying. Every scene. now and, and then. There's he, some really untalented people running <laughs> there around. There is both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you're right. It's like you're watching right, a right. horror movie that you get on the VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's like or, or going to a, 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 a one of those five bands for five bucks shows like but in the middle of it seeing Celine Dion it's gonna be like wow, yeah okay. that was worth the money that's my that's 
my new yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you saw some. Yes, you know, that, that's not totally wrong. Like you saw per, something perfect, that was like, oh shit. When, oh, any yes. um, <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, Sam, I was asking you, man, how do you uh, find yourself walking that line between funny and offensive, man? Um. I think uh, comedy is supposed to bring people together and make them laugh. So I don't really do the offensive stuff. Most of the offensive things I say are to some people words like the B word, calling people or saying hoes. Like I worked in a kitchen, so if I cut myself, it's a you have a different night. sense of. If I burn myself on a stove. It's a ho ass stove. And I guess if I was turning a wrench for a living. <laughs> okay, we got it. I mean, two examples. So it's, uh, I, I, I try but... not to offend people. I, I want to bring people together and make them laugh. And it's, uh, it doesn't help the next person if I'm just offending the audience just to like, so for some scorched earth policy where I'm just <laughs> destroying everything. <laughs> what? So the next guy can't come in and right. get nothing, man. They're taking right. a leak in the water. I'm right. trying to drink from. Right. And you oh, see wow. people do that. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah. Like, right okay. before you go up, they'll be, <laughs> hey, I don't like anybody in this room. I don't like this room itself. And I don't like the owner. So it's like, who is left? Who else? Who else? Who else can, else I get can we get take a shot at? This bottle of water in front of me. I don't like the way it's looking at me. Either. It's like that doesn't help anybody. You're just like you're being you know, rude for rude sake. Yeah, you're just messing point. with other people's business yeah. at that point. And, you know, some I mean, people do that, and some people don't. I, but what, what's going on with people like that? I mean, do you think there's a genuine like issue or is it just ego somebody tripping. they got to oh, ego, ego trip tripping. is not a better. But do you also think at the same time, it's somebody with a bone to pick with somebody else, but they're just mer- misdirecting? I mean, like projecting or or projecting. I, it's a good okay, word. I went to several a comedy show where, listen, nobody's paying me to be there. In fact, the only thing I'm paying for is with my own self respect. Uh, stay sober be, for it, book shows. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I get wasted at the free shows. <laughs> I do all kinds of banana stuff at the free shows. But when somebody books me, you're good, man. Uh, I keep it cool. When you're getting paid to be there, yeah, that makes sense. One drink, yeah. I okay. smoke all the the tea the I shirt. want. Man, no sherm. That's for afterwards. <laughs> but I, really, geez, I don't get out. wasted at the free show yeah. at the paid shows because you look stupid if you eat a bunch of mushrooms, drink all your Patron, Damn. and then try to like make words go in a sentence. That's cool. Don't do that. Dude. You look like a fool. Yeah. And I'm not telling people Definitely. what to do. It's just. It's, if somebody's paying you to be there, you, if the one dollar, you should give them their one dollar's worth. But so. if it's one of these open mics for free, yes, <laughs> my <laughs> eyes may be dilated, constricted. Feel bad oh, at like them a, is what he's trying to say. Go out smaller. there and be yourself yeah, is that. what he's trying so to so do. So so yeah, go, that, to the go, go to the free. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of fun at the open mic yeah, show is what he's trying to say. And, uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, d- nobody makes money at them. Nobody it's totally volunteer shows, work is you know, what he's saying. You know, but it is fries. Uh, <laughs> occasionally you know, a cigar. Yeah, yeah. That, that is uh, yeah, yeah. not completely wrong. Man, let me ask you, man. Uh, how do y'all deal with hecklers, man? Uh, you know, some people uh, get frozen. Some people make them a part of the show. Uh, some people get pissed off and just you know what I'm saying? Stop the show oh, and man. go at him, man. Uh, how, how do you how do you do it? I've man? only had one, and I tell I told him very politely to shut the f up. And uh, I guess like I was on a roll. Like when he you was were on it. stage, and you yeah, told I was him on that? stage, but I was on a roll too. I was in the middle of a couple. I had a good combination going, <laughs> and uh, he's just in the middle of it. So since it was in the middle of a good part. I was just able to be like, shut up and let me finish and then just roll right over him. And he, he stopped and it was another comedian and you see him around in, but in a I year. See, and how long you've doing it? You've only had one, one and a half. Two? Yeah, one and a half. Okay. Years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you must have never been booed. Never. Been. How many? Uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit on the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> You're the track uh, star. Yeah, uh, can, unfortunately. Oh, man, how do you deal with hecklers, bro? Uh, what? Listen, 
going up on stage for anybody and uh, i meet countless people it's the that, number one fear next to dying sure public sure I, right. and, and that's understandable but uh i meet so many people especially and uh, i'm not even doing this professionally this is something i'm interested in now are, are we getting I'm doing it very getting well. somewhere with it maybe maybe not who knows yeah. but the point is is uh it's so much fun to tell people that I do this because not only are they interested, like in the sense like, oh yeah. So for example, if you tell somebody you do open mics and you do comedy at night, just on the weekdays, which is what I do. Uh, I just spend a lot more time doing it than other people. <laughs> but uh, the point is, is that every person you tell undeniably one of them uh i would say within seven are going to say oh people tell me i belong on stage and i think that is a great thing i think people should pursue that i think you should put yourself in uncomfortable positions right. and sit in them until you are comfortable in them and i'll tell you one of the most uncomfortable positions in the world is coming together with a written speech not in the sense that i studied it for weeks and weeks but one of the most uncomfortable things that ever happened to me was being on a stage where i thought i was saying something clever or funny <laughs> and nobody else did like not even the janitor he, he didn't yeah, even quit whistling when you start yeah when you're uh, oh it does it really does that, that i mean you can hear that uh, all yeah. Of a sudden they're like yeah yeah moving yeah. like absolutely real slow because when you're up Man. there <laughs> Yes. I had like 10 minutes worth of material. <laughs> I burned through that in a minute and a half. <laughs> like, That's oh, exactly uh, what but, happened. You know, you got to stop doing it yes. like it's a book report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's something right. to get over. Oh, it's terrifying. That's blah, blah, exactly blah, 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 a blah, blah, bad blah, 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 book done. report. You remember that in school? Report, that's, that's what many open micers go through each and every night. And to go back and want that kind of pain and <laughs> yeah. and applied suffering yeah, that's self-imposed right. it does I take use, a certain type of I don't nut. usually bomb. I, I, don't I think just that's have wrong. nights when nobody's paying attention or it's <laughs> right. all comedians because there's two kinds of shows you got audience member shows and when you're doing it for just comedians and if you're doing it for just comedians you got to keep it like fresh because a bunch of comedians who've seen your set for a couple months, oh, they they're not be laughing. Yeah, so they, it's like, they yo, you need to new. bring that yeah. new stuff because there ain't no, right. there ain't no uh, audience members around. That's so true. I need to hear something new. Right. Yes, so bring let, it on. Let me ask you, which is worse, getting booed or telling jokes to a silent audience? Never mm. been booed, but I've told jokes to silent in the audience yep. there's more people working at the bar <laughs> than we're in the audience there's Listen. a bartender security manager <laughs> food runner it's four people there's two people at a table so uh empty shows are my specialty but now i'm <laughs> now i'm doing less empty shows and i like that uh, it's, it's nice yeah, yeah. which which is worse cards to getting booed or uh silent you tell them jokes. well listen i've told jokes to literally ants before not even crickets i mean i'm talking there's nobody i've told jokes in rooms full of actual up and coming comedians where it, nobody even looked up it looked like everybody was in study hall and i was telling jokes Imagine that scenario. That's exactly what I went through. And it was horrible. <laughs> I would rather get a boot because in a way, getting rejected in the sense that they want to tell you you're rejected is oh, yeah. still a reaction. Mom, it's that? still an interaction between mm -hmm. two people when there's no response. The room. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because then know. I can work on my storytelling. Because mm. like... You know, well, if there's that's nobody a there, way to think I always about it, yeah. like try a new uh, new aspect of comedy. Like and there's observation. But you're telling humor, me that doesn't hurt when it's when it's empty on that. I, I no, feel like that's, that's always like, a marker. I take advantage of it. At one Ooh, point, there was nobody at Darwin's. Okay. So at Darwin's pub, so I asked. The this guy who was sitting at a table. To We're not walk name over dropping to, pubs over here. To walk over to this they want to hang out. And then yeah. I sat at the table. So there's three people at the table already. I sit down at the table with the microphone. And I'm like, "We're going to do very intimate show. I'm going <laughs> to do my whole show at your table." 
Yeah. But the thing was, I'm stacking the audience because one of those three people worked at the bar. So one third of the audience <laughs> yeah. worked well, there. So okay, it, it so was, they had fun. to yeah. Yeah, they, uh, so so, they listen to a five so, minute but, story of me just at a, at a table with them like, look, I'm going to do comedy at your table because uh, yeah. there's uh, nobody yeah. else in here who's paying attention. So that's terrifying. The mic. Oh, it what was about great. the poor couple? What did they think? They, uh, it was two women on a date and the guy who sat between them was gay. So they got all excited. So they parted ways and then both put, put their arms on him like he was big pimping. I was like, <laughs> hey, oh, man, wow. can't complain about that. Okay. <laughs> it was a, it was so a you cool probably time. probably made that couple's night. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like uh, I like doing shows at Darwin's Pub. It's, it's but tonight. you were okay but. with the silence. I don't like... And don't we're not talking silence, about like pubs said. unless they're talking to us. So, hey, well, no, I need, I, I'm going to have to do my thank yous at the end for yeah. all the places What's that up? have been... Oh, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. Yeah, no worries. What's but, uh, yeah, no, um, I forgot what we were talking about. Yeah, so, we... Man, I, I got another uh, another subject I want to uh, ask y'all about okay. real quick before we uh, go to our next break, man. All right. Uh, you know, you kind of hear a lot amongst uh, professional comedians and also uh, stand-up and amateur comedians about people stealing jokes. Oh, What's the... Because um, y'all, 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 y'all are both in the world, man. What's the rules around... Because, I mean, I know we can all have similar experiences and tell similar type of stories, but sometimes it's kind of blatant, but what are the rules as far as it pertains to joke stealing? Well, joke the thing sharing is, once you once you uh, tell a joke, if I tell a joke and a room full of people hear it, it's no longer mine. Anyone in that room full of people that heard that great joke you told could turn around and tell it at work, or even come back and tell it at a at an open mic night. And it and that does happen, but the thing is, they're not wearing it right. It's like somebody who carries a skateboard and you never see him skate, or somebody carries a guitar, you never seen him play it. It's they're not going to tell the joke right. It's going to sound, it's going to sound like somebody who's like, "Hey, this is my name," and then you get him in the booth, and I want to rap it like this, and I rap it like that, and like, "Whoa, hey, whoa, your voice just changed, it just hit puberty in the last few seconds, and you you." You're dropping you know, a couple octaves, so I don't like it. Yeah, I didn't uh, hire this person. Yeah. I hired the person you were before. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, excuse me. Support local comedy. In I mean, or die. I, I yeah, I, be- I believe the same thing. I'm sorry. What was the nature of the question we were asking again? I I got so sidetracked. I <laughs> totally apologize. And check that. out my book, Iceberg Slim Three Thousand. That is not your name, <laughs> nor are you even close to him. Stop 3, that. He's a, ro- he's a pimp. And his Stop, Iceberg 3, cool. Hey, hey. Um, Iceberg Slam was a pimp who was a writer. Andre 3000, a rapper. So I'm going to take my moniker as Iceberg Slim 3000. Is this yeah. a, like, is this a robotic announcement? Pimp name? Yeah, well, they got these these broth these robot brothels opening up <laughs> in Houston, Jeez. so I need it's gonna okay. be robot pimping around there. There's gonna be robot Iceberg pimping. Big robot pimping. Yeah, yeah, stop! They're not doing anything like that. Do they have robots that? Uh, I am terrified. It, it, that's not real. Yeah, no, nah, I heard it, man. Yeah, it's real. Stop. It's real first. Y'all are messing around. Yeah, nah, because yeah, they got some people that's fighting because they're trying to put like several of them close to the <laughs> What? <laughs> because there's no women there? Yeah, or what? Yeah, because yeah. pedophiles go there. I mean, what happens? Yeah, man. That's, but, that's but what is a robot brought? Okay. That's the thing. M- my only question <laughs> is. <laughs> got rules of robotics. So uh, you know, hold on. But got rules of robotics. We took a left so we're into we, crazy we, we, town. I was about to say, we, we went from stealing Don't jokes talk to about robot, robot pimping. Stealing jokes. <laughs> I am no... <laughs> Don't go to the robot brothel. Don't go I'm the robot sorry. Robot <laughs> what just, that's happened? Robot. How did that just happen? Yeah. Anyhow. Yeah, stay away from me. Okay. Stealing jokes, number one. Don't I am... Plagiarism, done. theft okay. of intellectual property, My, and you bite and rhyme. And, and everybody Don't inevitably it. says in this situation, they say nothing is original. Everybody inevitably says that. They always say that, which don't get me wrong. It's not a wrong sentiment, but the observation on it is a little bit skewed, I would argue, in the sense that, you know, you're kind of giving yourself license to 
copy off of something. However, we all truly initially copy off of something because that's how we take it in. I mean, are you kidding me? Right. You're telling me you're, you, uh, that band you listened to in junior high didn't have an influence on how you act, behave, saw life, experienced it? I mean, come on. There was some amazing stuff that happened throughout every person's life that affects them and how they act. And in one sense, you copy that however i am no authority on um comedy nothing i mean there's individuals and i I'm hope to get them already on criminal activity <laughs> yeah. and that's well it. i the the whole point that i'm trying to do is get people like that who are the authority on those questions not even the authority but somebody who's much more senior than i bring them in here and let's ask him ask them that question okay. that's what i would like to and, do and, and I'm you pretty, know because we're sure. just some jokesters don't trying steal to jokes get in. You're whack you if know. you do it. You know who you are, and you know, and I mean, like you're the one who has to sleep with yourself at night, Jeez. looking at the ceiling, you going, have facts. "I'm he, a joke." I thief. guess he has. Yeah, he knows. Joke yeah. He's got some material right. taken right. from him. Yeah, Rappers talk yeah. about biting rhymes. You biting jokes. You get lead poisoning. Okay. You, know, you get theft of intellectual property. That's the legal term. Is plagiarism. That's the intellectual term. It's all the same thing. Uh, Don't do it. We're good on You're that. Lame. I actually stopped watching professional stand up comedy when I started doing stand up comedy. Seven days a week because then I people no would be way like, hey, promote what you're uh, saying. You know, your your joke Not sounds like so and so. Remotely, like, am I, I promoting what you're okay. saying? Yeah. Man, we finna all uh, roll into another break, man, and we're gonna be right back, man. Uh, hey, man, you never know what you're gonna hear, man. <laughs> man, for the iTunes Rob, we are A1.com. Stay away from the robot brothels, man. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Man, you still here? Go on and subscribe. Get in action. Oh, what's your flow? Oh, what's your flow? Yo, we back at it again, baby. What's your flow? 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 Tell me what is the deal yeah. Cause I'm calling for you Give me action Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. See I'm calling for you Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. See I'm calling for you Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. See I'm calling for you Action 1 Inspiring action Yo, we back at it. This week I want to talk about prove them wrong. Don't let somebody tell you you can't do something. Understand that doubt kills more dreams than fear ever will. So I'm excited for it, baby. Let's get it. Yo, go. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Seriously, that bad. But you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. Th that much movement made you not as great as you were, made you not as great as you were. People gonna tell you you can't do something. People gonna doubt you. If they haven't seen it done, or if they believe they can't do it themselves, they gonna tell you that it's not true for you. Understand, when people count you out, it should give you that fuel. It should give you that, 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 that thought process to believe in that you can do anything. It should push you past your limitations. Love to be the underdog. Love to be counted out. Because then you're playing with house money. No. 
Do you think he stands a chance of being Tiger Woods we once knew? No. No, no, no. Here's what's going to happen. He is not ever going to win another tournament. I don't think we'll ever see Tiger Woods win the golf tournament again. He's showing up at these tournaments and pretty much knowing that he's he's not going to be there. The short game is gone. His health is gone. The next press release Tiger Woods should release should be I'm retiring. I have considered him now for the last five, six years a former golfer. You're lost. Just give up while you're ahead. Retire with some dignity. Tiger Woods that we all knew. He will never, ever be that guy again. The more you do something, the easier it will become. Think about it like this. I'm going to give you an example. Think about if you were to break your arm or your leg. What you going to do? You going to give up? No, you're going to make things happen. You're going to practice and train that opposite hand or the opposite leg because work got to be done. And you train that muscle. You train those, those limbs. And after a while, things become second nature. So you just don't give up on it. That's just like life. When somebody tell you you can't do something, even if you can't do it at the moment, be obsessed with improvement. Have pride in yourself when people tell you that you can't do something or it can't be done. Don't just prove others wrong. Prove yourself right. Have more pride in yourself. At the end of the day, what other people say or don't say, it doesn't matter. So tell yourself that you can get it done. I'm going to leave you with a quote. If there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do us no harm. So this week, I want to leave it with y'all to go prove him wrong. But most importantly, go prove yourself right. It's your boy, Jay Norm. Peace and blessings. Again, prove him wrong. Peace. Return to glory. Action one, inspiring next paper. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, man. Hey man, how's it going? Good job, man. I enjoyed this episode, man. As, as much as I am, man. I'm having a great time yeah. making this episode too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> hey Sam, I want to ask you, man. Like you, um, you right. said that you went ahead and you you dedicated your your life. I uh, took a to year listen. of of my life and uh to stand up comedy and it like I said I, I was like if something happens in a year I'm going to stick with it. In a year and about a year to the day ago uh this guy Christopher Boykin calls me up and is like I want you on my All-Stars of Comedy yeah. uh show. And I was like, well, it's been about a year and I said I'd stick with it. So uh, now I'm sticking with it. Now I booked seven shows. Yeah. I've missed two, and I booked into jail. I've been booked into jail twice, so I'm I'm up five yeah. bookings. Yeah. I'm, I'm up on the odd two bookings. And I'm I mean, you're doing on great book. on the books. Nobody uh, haven't been booked into jail, but I'm getting booked yeah. for these shows, and that's way better because good stuff happens when you get booked for shows and you lose everything when you get booked into jail so right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep the bookings for the shows you're gonna keep the bookings for the shows exactly but right. on the shows i mean on the books you're looking good on shows ah, is what yeah. i'm saying you know you I'm could sure. turn that around uh, man, <laughs> that's I, all I, i'm saying how many <clears throat> so to, to get to this point right yes now, uh because you know, uh, our main thing uh, at Action One is talking about the independent grind. Um, okay. So all these independent artists, independent actors, comedians, entrepreneurs. Most people see the end mm -hmm. product. You know what I'm saying? They don't know the hours and years and everything else. That oh, yeah. You're about. just on stage for yeah. five minutes acting yeah. real funny. Yeah. You didn't have to wake up, go home from a party wake up early you know do a bunch of normal things <laughs> go to the bar an hour <laughs> beforehand not get you know wasted with everyone <laughs> and then you're on wait around while people are take shots at you and then go on stage and they just see I just, they just see this right. hey isn't this funny uh you know, you know took to get there. It, it, in, in a, a closer at a restaurant you can't have a normal job i can't work in the food industry anymore because you make all your money at night 
right. Well, in all but in I all realness, if now. you start any sentence in in the case of what you were talking about with you don't know what it's like to wake up from a party late as hell, <laughs> it kind of defeats your whole sentence. <laughs> it's like you don't get it. <laughs> any day where you're waking up from a party, although most of them are bad in in all. Uh, you know, sense and purposes or whatever that saying is, uh, for, for all rational ideas, waking up from a party is not bad. I However, the, the consequences you have after them are, you know, uh, but <laughs> you're still winning. You're waking up right. off of a victory. A ago, not today. Sam, um, how many open mics have you done up until this point? Oh, um, I was doing seven a week, probably sometimes eight a week if I was lucky. There's one every day. And then I do two days. I do two. So I was doing seven to nine open mics for about a year. I mean, the first six months, I was just trying to get 10 minutes of stuff that I knew was funny. And then I would just layer my sets with like something I know is funny. And say something that I think is funny. And if what I think is funny doesn't work and it's my set's nose diving, I'll say something that I know is funny and then I'll pull myself out of it. And, 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 and see, you just, just like uh, you just brought up something that I've always wondered uh, uh, with communities. And I'm pretty sure it's just like everyone's digital. different. But how do you, how, do, how are you able to remember or put together your? Because I, I mean, I know it's playing even though. Well, I have. It seems like it's just. I got four learning disabilities. I got dyslexia, oh dystrophia, God. dyscalculia, and attention <laughs> deficit disorder. So I can't do that off the top of the head thing. I can rap like that, but I cannot tell jokes like that. So I need a train of thought or I need I need my jokes to have like a couple words. Do you write them like, down? Or yeah, no? I'll have my, my set looks like two words, the number one and a couple words, number two and a couple words because like it just don't work and and you know i didn't want to be i didn't want to be troy av because my friend's 15 year old girl who's goes, troy av i'm sorry you're like troy, yeah. oh shit i'm all trying i'm like should i tell old jokes but you know do it and sting in the iphone she's like no troy av does that i was like what she goes you're gonna be troy av if you wrap off your iphone and i was like okay minor who doesn't go to comedy shows i'm gonna never ever write a joke in my phone because this my friend's 15 year old daughter thinks i'm gonna be troy ave and i don't want that to happen right and she was real smart about it too like uh, no, you're, you're gonna be troy ave <laughs> well, oh, what, oh, yeah, well, i'm pretty sure you, you know, so you want to heartless be heartless hey man tell you man tell you like it is yeah man. yeah I mean, I'm just I'm thinking about the scope of tonight's show and just what we talked about in, in this short. Uh, I mean, robot. robot well, listen, we went robotics. robot pimping. Yeah, Isaac we Asimov. Do, we, he, and I don't know what they are. I mean, this guy ain't done people. yet. Uh, he, he's still going. Pimping. Yeah, Three I mean, robot pimping. This is a very. This has been a very robot. interesting journey. Um, I have my robot and be a robot. You know, if nothing else, I could think of a lot worse. Ways. Robot pimping is a contact sport. People will get. Oh my hurt. God! What do you? Robot cop to stop the robot pimping. No, oh. but and then the third rule, of robot pimping, is you don't talk about robot pimping. Hey. Oh my God! What, what is this? Hey. Or, it's, or what are you? The Steve Jobs of robot pimping? Hey. Is, are you just writing the rule? Hey. I, I mean, I know I'm not mad at it. All about not hey, hurting man. people. Shout out to it's about all robot money, man. I'm repping AI, man. You know what I'm saying? AI. Your head on the AI pimping, man. AI. Yeah. Already. Hey man, Sam Harrison, man. I appreciate both of y'all. Oh my gosh. Thank you for gracing us. This is so us. much yeah, fun. I will we do appreciate it. Time. Sure and we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, uh, seriously. For anybody you watching, yeah. don't be touching yourself while you're looking at us. <laughs> Stop. I, I, we quit <laughs> giving them bad advice over there. Come on. Hey, man. I, I want to give both of y'all, man, the opportunity to uh, shout out uh, anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody working with. Friend, family, oh, right. um, uh, sorry with you, Carson. Yeah, you I, I am yeah. so sorry. I didn't mean to jump in the middle of that, and I do apologize. However, uh, I would like to give a shout out to a number one. Anybody, uh, as far as ups 
Up Art Studios, uh, Laura Rath, anybody else in the Houston area who is doing any sort of creative project. If y'all are interested in promoting your stuff, uh, let's get together. That's what we're all about up here. And we're we're calling all creators. Oh. Uh, so let's do something like that. I don't care what's going on. If you have a business you want us uh, to promote, holler at us. I mean, if you have a passion you want to promote, holler at us. But uh, that's about it. Check me out at Third Stroke on Instagram and Facebook at Carson Russell. Yeah, man. Uh, you got shout outs. Uh, first of all, my mom and dad and my sister. Hi, guys. What up, mom? Hey. <laughs> secondly, uh, whoever thought of smoking weed that you dropped in embalming fluid afterwards. <laughs> what? Thank you. We love. I love your work. Wait, what are you doing? But most importantly, uh, PJ doing? Sports Bar, Midtown Bar and Grill, Avant Garden, Darwin's Pub, Renee's <laughs> on the Bayou, Choke Choke. All of Houston, which are Improv, places you can go to club, see amazing Rudyard, people do amazing comedy, um, stand-up poetry, and everything and, else, uh, music as well. Um, uh, Mr. Rich Scheidner, who's uh, really cool. He uh, <laughs> had, he wrote married with he wrote jokes right, for Al Bundy, <laughs> and um, um, he's a stand-up comedian. And uh, anybody who uh, stood by me, even when I looked crazy, we and you shouldn't it. have. Yeah, he's and Sam, whoever I don't sold me some. Off on me, but and Timothy Leary, love your work. Yeah. Uh, hey, man, hey Sam, man, how can uh, how can people? Oh, Sam yeah. Warren Palmer on Facebook and Oren Palmer on Instagram. <laughs> and I got into the Texas Philosophical Society at age seven by writing a haiku. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, hey, thanks so much, hey, Sam. Hey man, I appreciate both of y'all for coming through. I'm hey, gonna sign your girlfriend's you so breast to uh, see. Yeah, man, y'all, 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 and then send always, her back home. Thank to you. you so much. Come back through, man. Oh, thank man. you, Action One. Thank you, everybody Action here. One, We're hey, for sure, man. Hey, make sure that y'all check out all the shows that we have on Action. Hey, one. I'm gonna get a picture you know with you guys, man. All right. SG Two with Space goes down every Thursday at 8 p.m. Dapping on the real every Saturday at noon. Well, Stay tuned for more. more. A picture. You know what I'm saying? Doing the picture while doing the show, yeah. man. Hey, man, I want y'all to remember action, agility, life, and community. The new Support age local media. comedy, tip or die. Don't support these hoes. And thank you, Christopher <laughs> Boykins, <laughs> All Stars of Comedy, Volume 3. Yeah, get at him. Hey, man, get me Start action, a magazine. Man. All right. You tuned in to the all new Action One Network. Turn up your phone. <laughs> Give me some.
thank you again. Eight one live. We appreciate everybody that's checking us out via Facebook Live. Everybody checking us out on weareone.com. Make sure that you go on Google Play and get the app. You know what I'm saying? The app is out now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Apple right. coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Tell them quit making them jump through them books because we coming, man. You know what I'm saying?